God bless you all. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, people of God. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. God bless everyone. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for our brothers and sisters. Thank you for your great mercy over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to open our mouth this hour. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to praise his holy name because he deserves to be praised. He deserves to be praised. He deserves to be worshipped. Let's begin to thank him. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Thank you for your great mercy in our life. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you, Almighty Redeemer. Thank you, glorious God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what to be alive today. Amen. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our wives, our brothers and sisters, our husband, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Most High God. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for washing over our soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you for what to be among of the living. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For your mercy, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For your goodness, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Protection, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Father, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord. Oh, Father, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord. Oh, Father, have your way. Have your way. Today, have your way, oh Lord. Father, have your way in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. King of glory, Lord of Lord. We thank you, we reverence you, we adore you. We glorify your holy name because you are God. Father, Lord, we invite you into our midst today. Father, as we are about to start, oh God, Father, we invite you, Lord, to come and teach us, oh God, speak through me to your people. Father, Lord, what you want them to hear, oh God, Father, speak through me to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. May, may I not speak my own word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I avail myself to you this hour to speak through me, to use me to your people, to your own glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Father, may your word bless your people this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever they are not doing it right, wherever we are made a mistake, Father, please correct us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Correct us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, show us the way we should go, O God. Father, as your word is coming this hour, let us bring a change in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any way, any area we have committed error, Father, review it to us today so that we will change from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because we are in Christ Jesus, we can never be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, show us mercy, have mercy on us, O God, and forgive us our sin, and may your word be a blessing to our lives in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord, for everything you has done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now forevermore. Take glory, Lord. Take glory, Father, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now forevermore. Take glory, Lord. Take glory, Father. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So then I titled my message, No Condemnation in Christ Jesus. Amen. No condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. That is what the Bible said. No condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we are going to take our Bible page from Romans chapter 8. I'm going to read from it's from 1 to 14. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible said in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, going. I'm going to read there at the Spirit of God direct. He will help me to deliver what he wants you to hear today so that we will change in our way because a lot of us, we are still Christian. But uh, we are still committing little, little error, little, little thing that will destroy our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus said, we he have died for us. So the Bible let us know that as far as you give your life to Christ, there is no condemnation in you. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's just read Romans chapter 8 verse 1 going. He said, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Two, for the law of the flesh of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Three, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God did by sending his only his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh for that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Six, for for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse seven. Because this carnal mind is empty against God, 
for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. 8. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwell in you, now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. Hallelujah. Amen. 10. And if Christ is in him, and if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, he will raise Christ, he who raised Christ from the dead will also raise, we also give you life to your mortal bodies through a spirit who dwell in you. 12. Therefore, brethren, we are we are debtors not to the flesh to live, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. 13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if but if by the spirit you put to death the death of the body you will live 14 the last verse for as many as led as many as led by the spirit of god these are sons of god hallelujah Amen. father may you bless your word in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen. holy spirit the spirit of the most high god the God of heaven, the only true God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We reverence you, we adore you. Father, take us, look on in our life because you are a great God. You are a mighty God. You alone are worthy to be praised. Father, Lord, we say thank you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, bless your word today. Speak through me to your children. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord, to walk in the Spirit. To walk in the Spirit. Because for those that walk in the Spirit, they will receive life. But for those that are still walking according to the flesh, the Bible said, is death. Father, Lord, you love us so much because you don't want any of us to perish, oh Amen. God. Father, give us the grace, oh God, to walk according to the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us open our hearts to receive the Spirit God has given to us because the Bible said the Spirit of God dwells in us. Father, help us, Lord. Give us the grace to accept that Spirit so that the Spirit will teach us all things. We reveal everything to us. Every secret thing in heaven, we review it into our lives so that we will be walking in the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you bless your word in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. And may God bless you. Happy Sunday. God bless you all. God love you all. God is with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the Bible said, it said there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. It didn't stop there. There is command there. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, you walk according to the Spirit of God, the Spirit God that I've given to you, the Spirit that lives inside you, the Spirit that is teaching you, the Spirit that is instructing you, the Spirit that is directing you. If you are living according to the Spirit of God, you will never be condemned. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why the Bible is telling us today, because I know that sometimes when we just read it like this, there is no condemnation in Christ for those that are in Christ Jesus. We stop there. Most of the time, we pastor we stop there but it did not stop there there is something that there is something that we still need to read for you so that you know hallelujah you know 
There is no condemnation. Really, if you are in Christ Jesus, you walk according to his spirit, according to his instruction, you will never be condemned. Hallelujah. You will never be condemned. That is just the truth. But if we, as a Christian, we say we are a Christian, we did not walk according to the Spirit of God, and we are walking by our own flesh, that means we will be condemned. Hallelujah. Let's read. He said, he said, he said, who do not walk according to the flesh? Are you seeing it now? There is no condemnation in for those in Christ Jesus. There is command that they now continue. He said, he said, who do not walk according to the flesh? Hallelujah. That means if you are not walking according to the flesh, you will not be condemned as a believer. Hallelujah. He said, but according to what? To the Spirit. According to the Spirit. So if you are not walking according to the flesh, you are walking according to the Spirit, you will never be condemned. But if you are walking according to the flesh, and you are still doing the things your flesh desire you to do, that means there is something wrong. We are bringing destruction to our lives. Hallelujah. We are bringing destruction to our lives. But for we not to bring destruction to our lives, that's why the Bible is telling us today that we will not walk according to the flesh. As a believer, we must walk according to the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why when you also look, when you let's just, let me continue. I will be picking some Bible verse for you so that you get what I'm what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible also let us know in the same chapter, verse 5. It says, for those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. Are you seeing it? So, when you walk according to the flesh, everything about you, everything about your thought, everything about you is going to be things about the flesh. If you walk according to the flesh, hallelujah. Amen. If you walk according to the flesh, you cannot please God. You cannot please God. That is just the truth. He said, but those who live according to the spirit, the things of the spirit, when you live according to the spirit, you always set your mind in the things of the spirit. You always, you, you are spiritually filled, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So because your flesh can no longer have power over your spirit, your flesh can never be dragging you anymore because why well, you set your mind in the things of on the spirit, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So such persons can never be condemned, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter, if we as a believer, we are still living according to the flesh, we are bringing destruction to our lives, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I am teaching you today the things you need to know hallelujah mm -hmm. we are not just going to end there i'm going to name some certain things that that can destroy our life that can make us not to succeed hallelujah Amen. so when you also look at um as six verse six said he said for he said for to be carnally minded is dead hallelujah Amen. if you are so carnal you don't you are not living you are not living with the spirit of god you are doing things anyhow you are just you say you are a christian a lot of christian we always proclaim we are christian it's not because you are going to church make you a christian it's not because you always come to fill the seats of the uh, the empty seat of the church make you a christian hallelujah mm -hmm. what make you a christian is the leading of the holy spirit hallelujah mm -hmm. when you give yourself to the spirit of god to be leading you you will be filled, hallelujah, and you will be called a child of God, Amen. hallelujah. So when you now read verse 8 now, let's just quickly go to, let's read verse, okay, let me finish verse 6 for you so that it will be very clear to you. He said, for those, he said, for to be a carnal minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is what? is life and peace hallelujah mm -hmm. so when you are spiritually minded you have life you have peace in you hallelujah mm -hmm. no wonder a lot of christians don't have peace their mind is always troubled hallelujah but you are a christian you pray you fast you do everything you know how to do but you still don't have peace hallelujah mm -hmm. you still don't have peace inside you please brothers and sisters let's check our flesh if our flesh is still very stronger than our spirit hallelujah mm -hmm. because if your spirit is stronger than your flesh 
you will be overcomer. No matter how the situation you are you are facing, you will have inner peace inside you because God is peace. Hallelujah. Amen. You your mind will not be troubled. Your spirit will not be troubled because why? You believe in God. You are living. You are living by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Verse seven says, hey, "Because the carnal mind is what is empty against against God." Hallelujah. If your mind is carnal, you are an empty vessel. You have nothing that will feed you. Hallelujah. Because if you have Holy Spirit inside you, if you are walking according to the Spirit of God, you are filled with the power of God. You are filled with the Word of God. You are filled with the presence of God. Hallelujah. But if you are carnal minded, you are empty. You are empty. Hallelujah. You are empty. This is the message that will bless a lot of people. But if you really open your heart and receive this message, change is coming to your life. Hallelujah. Changes, a lot of things. Your prayer is coming speedily. Because I was asking God, why a lot of people, why our prayer is not answered? So I'm going to explain it to you later. Because a lot of Christians, you have been praying, you have been fasting, you have been roaming to one church or another, going to prayer, this thing, going to this, going to this. But our prayer is not answered. Can't we just sit down and ask ourselves why? Hallelujah. So God has appointed still what he has appointed a lot of people to preach his word. So anyone that is leading you for prayer, it is good to pray. And anyone that also teaching you the word of God, it is good to teach the word of God. Anyone that is also preaching for you, it is good. All those things, all is good. But you cannot accept one and leave one. You will not receive your blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible lets us know, Jesus said, man should pray not to faint. Hallelujah. Bible also tells us we should pray at all times. Prayer is very good. But prayer with a carnal mind, a carnal mind, you are, you are dead. Hallelujah. A prayer also will tell you are not spiritually fit. You are dead. You are be praying. Or your flesh is still, or you see, your flesh is still so much alive. You are a dead human being. Are you seeing it? You are leading yourself to destruction. So it is good now for you to receive this message, this message that will bring deliverance for you. May God release your mind today so that this message will come inside you and live and dwell in, in this message, in the word of God, so that your blessing will come speedily. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray Satan will not come to come and fill you with, 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 with wrong, wrong, wrong thought, manipulate you. Receive the word of God. His word will bless you. Hallelujah. His word will bless you. Don't be deceived. Look at Daniel. Daniel prayed for the very first day. What happened? What happened? The priest of Persia, the other blessing. Do you think God has not released your blessing for you? A lot of attitude are going to, that are going to name here today. He is holding a lot of our blessing. The very first day believer pray. As far as you are a believer, you love God. God will hear you. God will give you your blessing. Hallelujah. God will hear you. I said God wants you to have some experience and he will still hear you. That is God. We are serving a faithful God. But some of this attitude is holding our blessing. They are spirits. They are demons. These little forces, I'm going to mention later, is this forces that is not letting our blessing come true. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, we are seeing verse 7, he said, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So if you, if you are a kind of minded person, your mind is empty. Everything about you is empty against God against the law, against the law of God because you can never be subject again to the law of God. No, you cannot submit yourself to the law of God because your flesh will never allow you to do so. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not because you are speaking it to make you a born again, make you obey God, make you please God. Hallelujah. After Amen. all, there is demon tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not because you can pray very hard, you can fast very hard, you can do all those things make you a believer. What makes you a child of God is you to submit yourself to God. Is you to please God. That makes you what? A child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when you read verse 8 now, verse 8 says, So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. It's not my, it's not my reading. Are you seeing it? Those who are in the flesh, you can't please God. So if you cannot please God, how can your how can that God you are not pleasing? How can that God answer your prayer? Hallelujah. Amen. So as a believer, something we need to deal with, we need to deal with our flesh. That is what God has for you today. 
Because, you know, as a pastor, we always question God. We ask God. We pray for people. We ask God so many things. But when God is saying, these people, the very day they pray, as, as because they believe in him, he will hear them, he will answer them. But the truth of the matter is that there is some attitude, bad attitude, bad behavior that is fighting against their prayer. That is not allowing their prayer to be com- coming true. Hallelujah. Yeah. The angel God sent for you, this force will be fighting them. They will be fighting them. Remember the Bible tells us that devil is the accuser of the brethren. He will give reason that you did not deserve that blessing. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So those in the flesh cannot please God. <laughs> it cannot please God. So when you look at now, he said, but he said, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. That is what you as a Christian, please. We are not in the flesh, we are in the spirit. So if you are still saying you are a Christian, you are still in the flesh, your flesh is still ruling over you, please, today, go to God and ask for mercy. Tell God to clean your heart, to renew a rightful spirit inside you. Hallelujah. He will do so. Because as a believer, as a born-again Christian, you are baptized, you're supposed to be living by the Spirit of God. But if you are baptized or a born-again Christian, your spirit is still ruling you, there is something wrong somewhere. You need total deliverance. You need, you need God's mercy. You need to repent fully so that things will be well with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, it is not his. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, we Christians, sometimes we deceive ourselves. We say we are spirit-filled, spirit-filled person. We are believer. We are this, we are that. But so you, our character, our attitude, our behavior, we show that, no, this one is not a Christian. Hallelujah. Even our attitude can even send people away from Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Spirit of God dwells in you. You must follow the instruction of God. You must obey God. There must be Christ-like in you. But if that spirit is not inside you, you are not of Christ. So don't be deceived. Hallelujah. You are not of Christ. If you are still living, your flesh is still dragging you. Your flesh is still making you committing error. Ah, There is something wrong, my dear brothers and sisters. So we need to know this very clear that we need God in our life. We need his mercy. We need to ask his grace to overcome our flesh. Hallelujah. Because flesh is hard. It's a very hard situation to deal with. It's hard. I will not tell you it's easy. It's hard. But with the grace of God, you can overcome the, that battle. Hallelujah. Amen. If you ask, he said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do. Hallelujah. Amen. Because a lot of you, now maybe as I'm preaching, now you are t- saying to yourself, I'm trying, I'm trying to do that, I'm trying to do that, but I don't still know how, how I'm still going back. Hallelujah. A lot of us will also go to use Apostle Paul reference, and what I don't want to do, that is what I need, that is what I'm doing. Please just go and reach the old shatter. Don't just pick one Bible verse there to be saying it. That is another error in the body of Christ. Read the old shatter of that Bible page, you will know what Apostle Paul is saying. Hallelujah. Don't just pick that. When you are picking that, you are still going to be living in error. There is reason Apostle Paul used that reference and read it and understand it very clearly so that at the, at the last day you will not be destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you people, we also said, yes, nobody is perfect. We also use that word. But Jesus Christ said, according to the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, said, He said, you must be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Are you hearing it? So if Jesus Christ used that word that we must, that means that is what he required from us. Hallelujah. So that in the last day, we will not see the shock of our lives. Hallelujah. So, as he is raising his pastors, his soldiers, to be teaching you the truth, brethren, brothers and sisters, please accept it. Accept it because the last day is going to be short for a lot of people. I also see things in this world again. Now, a lot of people is pretending to preach the truth, 
But they have a way to still manipulate it to make you feel comfortable in your error. Hallelujah. That's why it is good when you are reading Bible page, when you open it, try to read it from, from one to the end. You will know what they are talking about. Are you seeing it? So we do pick one, one Bible verse to also preach. It's fine. But as you a believer, the Bible says, re-study yourself and make yourself approved. Hallelujah. You need to study as a believer. You need to study. That's why the people in others, when they go to church, when they preach for them, they go home and study that Bible verse again. If they see any error, they are coming back to ask questions. But believer is not like that. As far as what we suit them, what we what we made them feel good, they just want to hear it. They will be shouting amen, amen. You have been shouting amen for years. Nothing is changing in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. That I said it before. Don't take one and leave one. If you are a prayerful person, you need also to believe in his word also. You need to follow his word. Follow God's instruction so that it shall be well with you. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in all things, pray. Give thanks to God and make your request known to Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It will be well with your soul. What I'm teaching you today, if you just accept it and believe it, you will see changes in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So now, it said, those that don't have the Spirit of God inside, the Spirit of Christ inside Him, they are not of Christ. Uh, verse 10. It said, he said, and if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. Are you seeing it? If Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. Hallelujah. That is what I was saying to my husband this morning. I said, some people, you when they say they change, you yourself, you will really see changes in them. Because why? Now they are start living like Christ-like. Everything about them is different. Even their humbleness, their meekness, everything about them, all those arrogant, all those behavior, Christ have taken it away because now they are living in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. But you cannot say you are living in Christ. In fact, when you your behavior alone will be people will be questioning themselves. Is it really truth? This person is a Christian. When Christ is living in you, everything about your flesh is dead, is gone. Hallelujah. He will take it away. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hmm. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. So your spirit, your spirit will be life because now nah, you are you are a righteous person. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 11, he said, But if the spirit of him who raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give you life to your mortal body through his spirit who dwells in you. Hallelujah. The moment you give your life to Christ, the moment you accept him as your Lord and your personal Savior, the Holy Spirit of God will come and dwell in you. Remember, that is what Christ promised us. He said, I am living. I am going to the Father. I will ask him to give you a helper that will teach you all truth, that will reveal the secret about God to you. That is what, this, that is what Christ promised us. And truly, he is here with us. The Spirit of God dwell in us. He lives in us. He teaches us. He show us things to come. He reveal a lot of things to us. The Spirit of God is inside us. He directs us. He rebuke us from sin. He convince us when we go astray. That Spirit is inside us. Hallelujah. Amen. But when that Spirit is teaching you, when He's convincing you of your sin, when He's telling you about your error, are you obeying Him or you are grieving that Spirit? ask yourself hallelujah Amen. when you grieve that spirit grieve that spirit grieve that spirit because of your bad behavior because of your bad attitude it will be quiet hallelujah Amen. praise god i am teaching you children of god if you only you can hear this word today it will be a blessing to your soul hallelujah you will see 
you will see changes in your life. Your life will be transformed to become a good person. Hallelujah. People that know you before, they will see Christ in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Not some of our attitude, when people even see that attitude, when people see us, they will say, if this one is Christian, no, I cannot be a Christian. It's not good that way. We are bringing shame to the body of Christ. Bad attitude, bad behavior, bad characters. We are possessing, but we are claiming we are a Christian. What kind of a Christian is that? Hallelujah. Amen. What kind of a Christian is that? Eh? If you read chapter 8, he said those, he said those who are in the flesh, they can't please God. If you cannot please God, then who are you praying to? Hallelujah. Don't deceive yourself. Verse 12, he said, brethren, he said, dear brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to this, to not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. Mm -mm. 13, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. Are you hearing it? If we, as a believer, as a born again child of God, if we live according to the flesh, we will die. We will be destroyed. We will be destroyed. We will be consumed. That word we always use, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We will see ourselves being condemned to destruction. Hallelujah. That word only belongs to those who is living. Living, accepting the Spirit of God. Those that the Spirit of God dwell in them, that word belongs to them. Not all Christians. Don't be happy when we are shouting, preaching, there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. You that is living in error, you will be shouting, jumping. No, it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to those that obey God. It belongs to those that love Christ. It belongs to those that obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. It belongs to them, not to those that is still living in error. Don't be deceived, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be deceived. That word does, does not belong to those that still have evil attitude. That little forces is still dragging to error. That word does not belong to those people. It belongs to those that live according to the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So next time, when your pastor is preaching it, and you know that you still have little, little forces that is still dragging you, all those satanic powers still dragging you, your flesh is still dragging you to sin, go and repent. Don't scream, Amen. Hallelujah. Go and repent because in the last day you will cry. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, 14. Let me read 14. He said, For as many as are led by the spirits of God, those are they as sons of God. Hallelujah. They are the children of God. As many, when you avail yourself for the Spirit of God to be leading you, then you are receiving instruction. You are allowing Him to be teaching you. You are allowing Him to be instructing you. You are allowing Him to be correcting you. You are allowing Him to discipline you as a child. You are the children of God. Hallelujah. If you did not allow the Spirit of God to lead you, when the Spirit of God is telling you, when somebody, you know, it convinced you in your spirit that you wrong this person, you wrong this person, go and apologize to that person. You refuse. Very proud person. You don't listen to that voice. You will say you are a child of God. No, you are not a child of God. I am not the one that is condemning you. I am not yet to condemn you, but I am yet to tell you the truth. According to the scripture, those that are allowed, those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. So if you are led by the Spirit of the Most High God, you are a child of God. Hallelujah. So now, I have 10, 10 bowed attitudes that will lead us to destruction. Hallelujah. Amen. This 10 and 15, yes, 15, hallelujah. I'm going to name it all. So any of us, I'm not exempting myself, any of us that still have this bad attitude, we are going to be destroyed. But the only way we are not going to be destroyed, we need to ask God for mercy. 
I am giving you what God wants you to hear. Hallelujah. Amen. And God loves you so much that a time like this, that's why he's sending his servant, he's raising many people, not me alone. God is raising a lot of people because a lot of pastors are fading. A lot of people are fading. So he's raising people now that will be speaking for him. Hallelujah. He said, in the last day, we pour my spirit upon all flesh. So, we are here now with the spirit of the Most High God that is speaking through us to you so that we will be free from sin. So that the death of Christ will not be in vain. Hallelujah. Do you know how many people is going to, to destruction every day? People die every day. People, people is giving birth every day. Hallelujah. So, Christ is death will not be in vain. That's why he's still teaching you. That's why he loves you so much to be bringing out this true message, raw message, that you will accept and change. We all is going to die one day. That is just the truth. Nobody will live, 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 will not die. We will die. But we need to go to eternity so that our soul will not be destroyed. Hallelujah. And so that our prayer will still be answered in this present time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us quickly to turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. We are going to read. We are going to read 9 to 10. Hallelujah. Okay. Then I will name all this attitude. Okay, let me name it first. Then we go, we back it up with 1 Corinthians. So this is said now this um, these attitudes we have we are still possessing as a Christian bad attitude these little little forces force we did not believe that can destroy us and this this force this evil attitude is the one that is destroying a lot of us hallelujah is destroying us so fast but we don't recognize it we don't know it we are pastor is still preaching we are still praying. But these forces is the one that is blocking our blessing, that they cannot make it come true. Hallelujah. When God, when we pray today, God, mercy, Lord. Father, show us mercy. God will show you mercy. But when the blessing is coming, this attitude will show up. It's a spirit. He will say, no, this person don't deserve it. The angel of God will ask them, who are you? He will measure the, pe- he will measure the character, this kind of attitude. Number one, he says, selfish or greed. Selfish or greed is a bad attitude. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said, give to those that ask you if it's by your power. How many people is really giving? Eh? Are we giving? Are we a giver? Don't say if you're free for this, you may not free for the other ones. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you a giver? Fine, if you are a giver, thank God for your life. You need to give. You need to be a good person. Hallelujah. Amen. So second one, is pride are you still the one that are very proud that look down on people that believe that nobody this person cannot become anything you believe that you are the best you believe that everything you are doing is the is, is good hallelujah Amen. so no one no one can be greater than you you look down on people are you that kind of person are you that kind of person that are so proud that even the spirit of god will convince you that you you what you do what you have done is evil you are wrong you can never go to your brother or your sister or anybody you offend to say i am sorry i use that person that always claim right mr right are you that kind of person so if you have this kind of attitude when your blessing is coming the spirit of pride will block it the angel of God will ask, who are you? We say, I am spirit of pride. This person don't deserve it because the Bible said, God said, I give grace to the humble, I oppose the pride. That blessing will be hook. Are you hearing me? So the grace will not come to you because you are very proud human being. So God can never give grace to you. So your blessing, your, you are be praying, you are be fasting, but your blessing is hung because there is no grace for you to receive that blessing hallelujah because you are so proud don't say is there that is the word of god if even when you go to the book of proverbs bible said there is six things i hate that is what god said seven i cannot tolerate when you look at this there is pride there 
and even God also said it in his word that I give grace to the humble, but proud, I oppose them. So that's why your prayer will be opposed. Your prayer can never be answered if you still have that evil attitude inside you. Hallelujah. I am teaching you what will make you be free today. If you take it, you are free. If you take it, you are receive your deliverance. If you take it, victory is for you. Hallelujah. Victory is for you if you take it. But if you oppose it, there's nothing I can do. If you like, pray for 100 years. Your prayer will not be answered. It's not a cause because it's, it's, it's God's word. His word is A and Amen. His word is A and Amen. And His word can never go back to Him. Those I am teaching you and I am telling you how to receive your breakthrough. He said, I give grace to the humble. I, I what? I oppose the pride. Theory, arrogant. Are you an arrogant human being? Hallelujah. You don't care who you insult. You don't care who you talk to anyhow. You don't care what you do to people. Are you that person? Eh? Are you that person? If you are that person, you are doomed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You are doomed. Because God said in his word, God said, he said, submit yourself to one another. Respect one another. Is that not what God said? Mm -hmm. I am telling you what God said because I am not speaking by my own authority. I am speaking by the authority of the Most High God. He says, submit yourself to one another. Respect one another. That is what the Bible said. So now for you to be arrogant, very, very bad attitude. You insult whoever you want to insult. You don't care who you talk to anyhow. We, if we, we as a Christian, we are still living in this kind of arrogance. We are doomed. Our prayer will not be answered. Hallelujah. Because you are opposing the word of God. Hallelujah. There is one Bible verse one of my ministers showed me yesterday. I asked her, how did you come across this Bible verse? I said, wow, this is powerful. So powerful Bible verse. <laughs> because God said it in this word. He said, anyone that opposes it once or twice, he said, that person is doomed. Hallelujah. So when you when you cons consistently to be opposing the word of God, you are finished. Hallelujah. Because all this is there in the Bible. Love one another. Respect one another. Who, uh, are you hearing it? Then, because you feel that, who is that person? You talk to that person anyhow, like tomorrow is not there. You are doomed. Hallelujah. You are finished. But the only way, go to Christ and ask for mercy and repent from that evil deed. Never again do it again. Hallelujah. Four, it's a thief or stealing. Are you still the one? You love you anywhere you go, you, you steal something there. You are a thief. You love to be taking people's things, adding it to your own. You are still committing error. What the Bible said, that shall not steal. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you oppose this word, you are doomed. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are finished. Lies. Hmm. Your mouth. There is no truth in you. And even, even you don't want to lie, you always lie. You don't know where it comes from. It's a spirit. That lies can destroy you. When you also go to the book of Proverbs, because of the time, can't go there. It's also there. Bible said, God said, there are six things God hates. Seven, he cannot tolerate. You can also find it there. It is there. What I don't know, I will not tell you, brothers and sisters. Betrayer. Are you the one that always betray people? Eh? Are you Judas? Remember, Judas betrayed Jesus Christ. What Jesus Christ said, he said it is better he was not born. Are you seeing it? You see all those little forces that is blocking our blessing. We Christians, we are still doing it all. I'm telling you, we need to change today so that our blessing, these, all these forces is a spirit. When our blessing is coming, they will rise. They will, they will introduce themselves to the angels of God. Are you a betrayer? Stop it. Hallelujah. Because Jesus Christ is still use it. He said, it is better Judah was not born. A man, someone that will betray the son of man. Hallelujah. Amen. Hatred. 
I use the one. Some people will say, yeah, I will not use the word hatred. I dislike that person. Anyone, anyone you use or hatred, you dislike that person, you hate that person. The Bible said, whoever that hates his brother, whoever that hates his brother, whoever that hates his brother, will be cast to hell. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you the one that hates people? You can't forgive people. You are going to be destroyed in the last day. Hallelujah. It's a spirit. This spirit can also block you. You will not receive your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Amen. All forgiveness. You will not receive your breakthrough. You, sometimes people just do you something. You hate them. Or some of them, you can't forgive them. So these spirits will lead you to destruction. And when your blessing is coming, this spirit is a spirit. It will still rise up his head. It will say, no, this person don't deserve it. They will ask you, who are you in this person's life? We say, I'm spirit of bitterness, spirit of hatred. So this blessing will be hook. A lot of our blessings have hook. They are there, but they cannot come to us because these spirits are still living inside us. Hallelujah. Because when the spirit of God, God said it there. He said the spirit of God that raised Jesus Christ from death, it lives in us. When that spirit lives in you, all these things can never be found in you. Hallelujah. But because the Spirit of God don't live inside us, that's why all those things is living inside us. Hallelujah. Amen. So, eight, gossip. Are you a gossiper? You spoil people, you condemn people. When you see good things want to come to your brothers and sisters, because, because you cannot do that thing, you will gossip that person to the extent that the person will change their mind, that they will no longer help that person again. Or they will no longer love that person anymore. Are you that kind of person? <laughs> the Bible said, the matter of a gossiper is like a cancer to the bones. It will destroy a lot of things. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nine. Adulterers. Are you the one that is still committing adultery? And you know what the Bible said? I will take you to the, the, to the verse. <laughs> are you the one that is still fornicating? Eh? You adulterous, you fornicator. You, you will, you will be preaching the word of God. You will be teaching the word of God. You can be a Sunday school teacher. You can be a, a preacher. You are doomed. You, are, you will be destroyed if you did not repent. You will not go and fornicate. Then you will become, you will become, you will be teaching the Bible, teaching your brethren, teaching the children of God with that stinking body, with that futile body, you are defying the, the gathering of the brethren. You are destroyed. You will be doomed, except you turn away from that. Don't go and fornicate. Don't be a fornicator adulterer. Then you will have the ghost inside you to carry holy Bible. To stand in the in, in, in the presence of the people of God to be teaching them with that filthiness. You are defying that place. You are doomed. You will be cast to destruction. The only way you need to repent and turn away from that. Don't even dare yourself to take the Holy Bible to be teaching his people. You are doomed. Hallelujah. It's a very tough message, but accept it, you will be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Eleven, idolaters, meaning people that are still serving idol. You are proclaiming that you are a Christian. You have one evil altar. You are still buying down for. Huh? You are deceiving the children of God that you are a Christian. Uh, you yourself know that you have one kind of calabash, evil things you are still buying down for. You are worshipping. Some of you, you are still calling home, calling or going to Babalawa or going to any part to be serving this idol. But you will still come with that, with that futile body to defy the house of God. Hallelujah. And you know you are not clean. You are playing with fire. Hallelujah. You are doomed repent 12 homosexual you that you know you are sleeping with men and men is sleeping together you know that you know that a lesbian but you are said you know and you are still coming to church pretending that you are a christian 
God know you. We may not know you. Not only people that you see them, they dress that way. Not only them is doing it. A lot of people, they are, they are doing it, but you, may, you will not know them. Some of them, they are pastors. Some of them, they are preachers. Some of them, they are, they, uh, they are Sunday school teachers. Huh? But they are doing all this evil. You are doomed. Repent before it's too late. And even though you are still out there also, people know you as this. Repent. They may not tell you the truth. Don't believe you are a Christian. Or in the last day, you are going to be destroyed. But the only way now God is telling you today, repent, including lesbian. You lesbian, you are singing in the house of God, jumping, fornicating, you know you are a lesbian. You are bringing, defiling the house of God with your futile body. Repent and change. 13, prostitute. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know yourself that you are a prostitute and you will come to the house of God. You are, well, you are a worker there. You are a singer. Your, some of pastors, they know them. They, mostly this Europe, they will still allow them to be singing to God. Repent today because you are doomed if you did not repent. Change. Go and look for a job. No matter the little thing you have getting there, it's God that is blessing the work of our hand. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the salary you are receiving. Some people may be receiving 100,000 pounds every month. Someone will be receiving 1,000 pounds every month. That person that is receiving 1,000 pounds, God will bless that money. He will bless that work. And he will be using it to do very great things. Bless, blessing will follow that word. But some people will be receiving 1,000 pounds. They will not know what they, sorry, 100,000 pounds. They will not know what they use it for. Hallelujah. It's God that gives power to make words. And it's God that is blessing the works of our hand. Go and look for joy. No matter how little it is, that's why you are serving God in truth and in spirit. That work will be blessed. You will be using it for a good thing. Hallelujah. Change from that. Repent. Hallelujah. 14. Drunkards. <laughs> are you a drunkard? <laughs> you are doomed. Repent today so that God will show you mercy. <laughs> the last one, 15. Anger. Hallelujah. Anger. <laughs> Anger will bring shame, disgrace. It will destroy a lot of things in your life. It will make people to be avoiding you. It will make people not to be telling you truth anymore. Even though you are going to fall inside home, you will not see who will correct you. Because why? They know you. Anytime they, they try to advise you, you always speak offense. You're always angry. Hallelujah. So it will destroy you fast. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you see all those things I have measured today. It's a spirit, it's a force that is causing destruction, that is causing delay in our life. Imagine now, you that have just prayed, you prayed, you fast, and God answer your prayer. And that prayer is coming. Because that anger is inside you, it's a spirit. So that spirit will go and look for somebody that will come and provoke you. And your blessing is coming on the way. You will be provoked. You will say all kinds of manner of wars. You will fight. You will be angry. This is common in a lot of believers, all of us. Before you know, you that is blessing on the, is waiting on your door. You will get angry. <laughs> spirit of anger. Then, after a while, that spirit will leave you. Then you will relax. Then, the blessing will be coming. Angel of favor will knock on your door. The spirit of anger will open. <laughs> I am here. This person can never receive this blessing. Hallelujah. You have hooked your blessing. You will say, God, don't answer prayer. <laughs> God, answer prayer. But the spirit of anger will not let that favor to come inside the house. Are you hearing it? Today, ask God for help. Hallelujah. There is nothing God cannot do. He is God. He will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. So now, the last Bible verse I'm going to read, then we pray, we go. 
I say open to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10. We are going to read it. Thank you, Jesus. So the Bible said, <laughs> verse 9, it said, Do not, it said, do, do you not be deceived? That means don't be deceived. <laughs> don't be deceived as a Christian. Because you know, a lot of us always life message that we always be suiting us. It only take pastors that really want you to be blessed, that will be teaching you all those things. Because enough, enough of shouting, enough of I receive, enough of I, I, I receive, I will make it, and year to year you are still like that. Hallelujah. Because you have been deceived. Not like all those people, what they are saying is, is not truth. It's truth. It only when you have, it will come only when you have, you, your flesh, you have done with your flesh. It will come. But if you are still so much alive with your flesh, you are going to shut Monday to Friday. You will not receive it. You will still remain the same. But go and ask people that is always receiving this blessing. You will see them. You, you will not find all those errors in them. Hallelujah. So don't tell me that no one is perfect. So Jesus make it clear. Go and read it yourself. Matthew chapter 5, verse, verse 8, verse 48. I mean, is there? Go and read it yourself. He is there? So don't let anybody deceive you. So you must try to be working to your own perfection so that it shall be well with you. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, it says, surely, surely, you know that the wicked will not possess the kingdom of God. I'm reading for Good News Version. Because maybe I will still use King James. I will still use other Bible verse. Because all of them, they have the way they, they, the way they, they, wrote, they wrote it down here. He says, surely you know that the wicked will not possess God's kingdom. You know, you know that the wicked will not what? Will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. He said, do not fool yourself. I love this one. King James said, don't be deceived. Don't fool yourself, brethren. We, we, we are fooling ourselves. We should not fool ourselves. God is faithful. God is good. God is kind. We are bad. We are wicked. The Bible says we should not fool ourselves because the wicked will never go there. Hallelujah. You will not go there. You will never enter there. He said people who are immoral, you are not going. Are you hearing it? Or who worship idol, you are not going. Hallelujah. Or who are daughters, you are not going there. I'm reading the Bible. Or oh, homosexual, you are not going there. Pervert, you are not going there. Ten, the last one. Or oh, who still, <laughs> that is not for you. Or oh, a greed, you are not going there. Greedy person, thief, you are not going there. Or oh, a drunkard, you are not going there. Hallelujah. Or oh, who slender others you are not going there thieves are not going there no one of those who possess no one of those who will possess god's kingdom no one of this kind of behavior will possess god's kingdom hallelujah so if you can if you are not going there how will you believe that all the, the blessing you are asking for will come to you that he have this qualification of evil attitude his blessing will not come to you. Hallelujah. You will cry for mercy. Mercy will prevail. Mercy will come. But this attitude is a spirit. It will show up. It will fight that blessing. That blessing will not come. That is the reason a lot of our prayer is not answered. Are you hearing me? That is the reason God said this, all those attitudes, this wicked attitude, this bad behavior, 
He is preventing our blessing not to come. Hallelujah. So please, brothers and sisters, none of those we possess God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me... Wait. <laughs> God is good. Hallelujah. So let me just read the level for you so that to conclude it for you so that you know that God... When you still go back to God, God will still help you today. He says, some of you were like that, but you have been purified from sin. Are you seeing it? Some of us will be like that. So no one, that's why they say no one is perfect. No one is perfect, but we can walk into perfection. Hallelujah. So that's why Jesus said we can be perfect so that our, so that as, as our heavenly father is perfect. Praise God. So let me just put this way so that you will not be afraid. When you still go to God, God will cleanse you and purify you and accept you to his kingdom and accept you to his children and or you will be enjoying the benefit of the children of God. So he says some of you will be like that. Is that is just the truth. A lot of us will be like that before we give our life to Christ. But you have been purified from sin. You have been dedicated to God you have been put right with God by the great by the Lord Jesus Christ and by the spirit of our God hallelujah Amen. so rededicate your life to Christ Christ will purify you God will purify you Christ himself will put you right with God and the spirit of God will be leading you hallelujah Amen. that's so that settles it hallelujah don't be afraid when Christ, when God wants you to listen to this kind of message, He loves your soul. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to succeed. And He wants you to come back to Him. He loves you so much. That's why He's giving you this kind of message. So if you are afraid before, don't be afraid. You, God, can, God will still accept you back. Just rededicate yourself to Christ. Hallelujah. And never go back to this kind of wicked attitude again. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. May God prosper you. May God give you the grace to overcome all kinds of sins. May God give you the grace to overcome your flesh. That your human nature that is still dragging you to sin. May God give you the grace to overcome it. Let the spirit of God, the spirit inside you, your own spirit, overpower that spirit. And let that flesh die away in you. Let that old man in you leave you and may God give you new man that will instruct you, that will direct you, that will teach you everything so that you will be walking in the path of righteousness. May God help you. May God help your home. May God help our children. May God help each and every one of us. May God give us power to overcome all situations and we receive his mighty power to win all our battles in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Remain blessed. Shalom. Amen.